In this lecture, we'll be taking a look at how we can make use of PHP debug extension in our Visual Studio Code editor to debug PHP web applications. Here, first of all, we need to go ahead and search for PHP debug. You'll be getting this one. You just need to install it. Once installed, you can just open up over here by going to the extensions link and clicking on this PHP debug. It will load and just scroll down and here you'll see the installation for xdebug is required. Next, to install this DLL for xdebug, what we need to do is, first of all, let's go to the wizard page. So, this is the link for the wizard page. Just click on this and it will open up in the window over here in the Chrome browser. And here you're finding a text box where you need to enter your PHP info details. Over here I'll be demonstrating you with XAMPP. So what I've done is I've already installed XAMPP. You can also install XAMPP by googling it like this. So you can visit this URL and you can download XAMPP for Windows. Once downloaded, you'll be getting a control panel of this sort. I will be simply starting this XAMPP server and XAMPP will be running on port number over here 8080. So all I need to do now is go into my Chrome browser and here I'll be reloading this page. I have also pointed the default application directory to my custom URL. So here in XAMPP you can just click on this config, choose http.config and there you will find this path. document root as fphp demo and directory as fphp demo. So that's the solution where I have kept the index.php file. This is the file and this is the php info which will be shown to the user. So there you go. Now I will be simply copying this php version actually and going to the wizard. Let's reload and paste it over here. Now click on analyze my php info and it will automatically give you the file which you need to download for xdebug. I have already downloaded mine and it also tells you where to put that file. You can see that this an extension is mentioned. So you just need to copy this line and again go to the XAMPP control panel, click on config and choose the php.ini file. Uh, the php.ini file will open and these are the three lines which you need to put. So if I show you the debugger over here, PHP debug. It mentions that and here you can see it mentions it and that's what we are doing in our php.ini file over here. This is the path of the DLL that we downloaded and then these two lines are enabling remote debug. So that's pretty much it over here. Now one more thing you need to take care of is go to file preferences settings and here you will find that I have updated the setting php.validate.executable path. Now if I show you completely, it's XAMPP PHP PHP.exe. So it's the same executable that we have started from here. That way whenever you'll be accessing the site, the debugger will hit the breakpoint. Now we have installed XAMPP. We have configured our Visual Studio Code Editor properly. We have updated the conf file as well as the php.ini file. Now is the time to launch the debugger. So here you'll go to this debug icon and initially you'll see that over here you're seeing a launch.json file. Let's go ahead and delete this. So I've deleted this one. When you click on this, you'll be clicking on this settings icon and choose PHP over here. As soon as you choose PHP, it automatically creates a file for you. Now this file is named as launch.json file and uh, when you will be in the debug mode, this option listen for xdebug will be by default selected. Now all you need to do is click on this debug option and here you can see the debugger has started. Now this is the index.php file and I have kept some breakpoints over here. What I need to do now is try and access localhost 8080 and you can see that the debugger is heading over here and that way you can choose the variables, breakpoints, you can go down like this 
and here you can see the value coming up as hello similarly for output as well you will be finding it over here that way you can easily debug your PHP web application using Visual Studio Code and XAMPP